Good evening YouTubers. In this video I'm going to show you how to use debt to buy and invest in gold. Now back in April of 2016 I took out a credit card and I bought these two gold bars right here. See how nice they look and all that? Well you may say that's a stupid idea to use a credit card to buy gold but I'll explain to you why it's actually an ingenious idea. You see, okay, first off there's going to be some math involved. I don't want to scare you off but if you want to know how to profit, here it goes. All right, back in April of 2016, gold price was around $12.25 an ounce. And after you pay the overspot charge of $40 plus another 3% charge for using a credit card, debit card, for whatever reason, sellers charge 3%, um, it totals around $1,300 an ounce, okay? Now, three months later, as of me making this video, July 2016, gold is around $13.50 an ounce, okay? So, if I decide to pay my banks off right now, um, all I have to do is go to my dealer, sell this gold off, pay my banks their $2,600 that I borrowed, and I would make a profit of $100, which could buy me these two grams right now. See these? Now, the important thing is, when you get a credit card, make sure it is 0% interest okay preferably for a whole year you don't want to pay the banks any interest you don't want to pay the banks anything actually and you might be asking well well what do the banks get out of this then well, the answer is nothing and you want to pay the banks off before the interest charges accumulate okay so you make as prof much profit as possible now a bigger investment idea that could you could still do but I'll use it as a historic example, and a present example, okay? If, if I make any sense. Well, hold on, just bear with me. Back in January of 2016, or just when gold bottomed, gold was around $1,070 an ounce. And if you had bought, used a credit card and bought, let's say, 12 of these, or more of them, four, let's say just say 14 of these gold bars, using debt, back in January 2016, uh, a gold bar, after you pay the overspot charge and the credit card fee, it would, one of these bars would cost you around $1,150 an ounce back in January. Now, right now, six months later, in July, gold being around uh, $1,350, you would make a profit already of $200 per ounce, okay? So if you decide to pay the bank, like say right now in July, um, you could go to your dealer, sell your stuff, and pay the banks off. But you also make a profit around twelve hundred, which is almost a one ounce gold bar. But or if you had bought fourteen ounces back then um, using debt, you could get yourself a, an actual one ounce gold bar. And that's using the bank's money. That's using other people's money. And that's profit right there. So that's how you invest in gold and silver using debt. I wouldn't recommend it. I personally did not. Most of this gold right here I bought with my hard-earned cash. I used dishwashing. But I did buy two gold bars using debt. And I don't regret it. So that's how you invest in gold and silver using debt. Then I hope you this video was educational. If you have any questions, ask in the comments. Later, bye.